Welcome, Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at ClimateViewer.com. It's October 17th, 2021. And wouldn't you know it, people always surprise you. Despite what you may think, Greta Thunberg has now come out against geoengineering. And it's making ripples across the scientific community. Very excited about this. And someone with 5 million Twitter followers, very interested in the climate change debate, should be aware of and against geoengineering. I know that all of you on that follow this channel on Climate Viewer, you already know. You know how I feel about geoengineering. You know that I've dedicated, you know, a decade to this subject. If you're new here, um, please hit that subscribe button. If you're watching somewhere else, hop over to the YouTube, hit that sub button anyway. And of course, if you could support my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it. But man, this is the exciting stuff. So they had the solar geoengineering warnings from scientists, indigenous peoples, youth and climate activists event back in june and i actually had a couple people email me um who were going but greta thunberg and i'm i said you know spin it however you like this is a good thing so i'm over at stop solar geo.org and you can see that here it's stop solar geo.org check out the website um you know, I want you guys to, to to look at this stuff, and they talk about Scopex, of course. That's uh, David Keith's uh, sun dimming, solar radiation management, stratospheric aerosol injection, geoengineering, solar geo, solar geoengineering project, and how they shut it down, um, how they actually got it shut down. We're going to cover all this in the video and reasons to reject um, geoengineering. And this, these are all good, good reasons. Um, droughts, floods, changing monsoon, threat to food and water for billions of people. Number two, threat of devastating termination shock, or what they call the rebound effect, possibly the double catastrophe effect. Um, impossible governments, requirements at and risk of wars. There have been articles, geoengineering may lead to World War III. Um, and right now, there's actually a discussion about the competition between the United States and China on geoengineering, providing the fossil fuel industry and polluters false accuse, excuses, um, reasons not to stop polluting, and all of which is a bad thing, exacerbating inequalities and climate injustice. Uh, the poor people really won't have a say in any of this and the slippery slope down the abyss. Uh, I pretty much agree with all of this, and I think you will too if you read it. This website was created by the ETC group um, and what's known as geoengineeringmonitor.org. But let's, they had their event. It was also streamed live on Facebook. All of these links I'm about to show you will be pinned in a comment on my um, YouTube channel, so you will be able to go and check these out yourself. But you can see this is a two hour and 31 minute uh, live stream Zoom call between multiple people. And it was summarized um, in a YouTube video, which we're going to get to in just one second. But some new news, October 14th, 2021, I found this. Getting real about playing God, climate engineering in context 2021. And this is from the Climate Center. And... Um, I'm finally starting to hear something that you don't hear very often. Um, they had this thing that's basically the CEC 21 and it uh, discussions provided an opportunity to take stock of what these developments mean for the future of climate engineering as a response to climate change in the context of other large scale interventions into the global system. Um, and they, you know, basically say, our ability to manage impacts are really limited. But more importantly, um, it was motivated by, you know, the fact that they really haven't considered what people's opinions on all of this are 
And uh, I'm going to give him a face out of the way for this and just we'll blow it up real big. And you can see here, as humanitarians, we cannot any longer dismiss the possibility of solar radiation management being seriously advocated. And we're actually aware, acutely aware there would be consequences. We fear the humanitarian dimensions of geoengineering are not being thoroughly researched and certainly not with close attention to the most vulnerable. Climate activist Greta Thunberg in a hashtag say no to solar geo video time to coincide with CEC 21 and retweeted by organizers said there's one metaphor that perfectly describes everything about geoengineering. When you're dig when you're in a hole, stop digging. We cannot get out of this crisis with the same mindset that got us into it. And to hear them, you know, literally quoting something, you know, that I saw back in June, um, I've been meaning to cover it on the channel. And I think now's a great time because of this article, you know, because the fact that the climate scientists are finally starting to, you know, actually pay attention to what the public's opinion on this sort of thing might be. Um, <laughs> it, it's kind of kind of fascinating in and of itself. So, of course, this was retweeted by Geoengineering Monitor. Um, Geoengineeringmonitor.org is set up by the ETC group and the Heinrich Bowl um, University. And it says young climate activists like Greta Thunberg have voiced their concerns about solar geoengineering. Watch the video and learn more from Greta Thunberg and scientists, indigenous people and climate activists. Um, and this was at you know, mentioning the Discuss CEC uh, conference that was going on. And you can see the video right here, and I'm going to play it for you right now. There is one metaphor that perfectly describes everything about geoengineering, and that is when you're in a hole, stop digging. We cannot move out of this crisis with the same mindset that got us into this. Polluters are trying to prevent us from moving away from fossil fuels from which they profit greatly. And so they're offering up false solutions. And among the most pernicious of these false solutions is the promise of geoengineering. Pollution for a pollution problem. Deliberate climate change as a solution to climate change is not just insane, but it is, as Einstein said, repeating the mindset that got you into the crisis in the first place. Each year, that you treat the symptom with solar geoengineering instead of addressing the root cause, which is carbon dioxide emissions. The amount of solar geoengineering you do has to be increased. Our job is to do the hard work, having hit bottom as a society, of getting ourselves off the drug that got us into this problem, instead of just finding some new one to cover it up along the way. Solar geoengineering reinforces the power of wealthy elites and creates yet another mechanism to concentrate power. There are all these conflicts of interest where the scientists who are pushing this most aggressively have their own private companies which benefit from the normalization of the idea of a techno fix. There's so many. Real quickly on that one, uh, she's specifically talking about David Keith, who owns Carbon Engineering, who is not only directly involved in the Scopex solar radiation management project, but his carbon engineering company um, is also part of what's called direct air capture or carbon sequestration. So a lot of these geoengineering scientists, Ken Caldera included, have patents and technologies and companies that would monetarily benefit from this. And that is pretty pernicious. Please continue. Potential negative repercussions and risk that we feel would have a disproportionate burden on our indigenous peoples. We as indigenous peoples do not approve of the development towards the solar geoengineering technology and nor for it to be conducted in or above our lands and nor in any ecosystems anywhere.
And uh, as you can see in the top corner, I also have this video in a playlist. Share this video, visit geoengineeringmonitor.org and stopsolargeo.org to learn more. Sign the petition to support indigenous peoples opposing Harvard's solar geoengineering experiments. And they're specifically referring to uh, David Keith's Scopex. Um, and of course, they did already shut it down. More on that right now. Reasons to oppose geoengineering from geoengineeringmonitor.org. I hope you guys will go over there and check that out. Pretty phenomenal. Um, I've been a longtime supporter of the ETC group and geoengineeringmonitor.org. I hope that you guys will go over there and check it out. Um, but as you can see, uh, you know, they are the Heinrich Boll Foundation and the ETC group. Um, in, a, in addition to Biofuel Watch, run geoengineeringmonitor.org and I, I gladly salute their work. And they also have map.geoengineeringmonitor.org where you can actually go in and see all of the different solar radiation management programs from around the world, uh, greenhouse gas removal, like I said, carbon sequestration, uh, weather modification projects. You guys also know that I have climateviewer.org. Um, I have weather modification projects, geoengineering projects, but this is by far the most thorough website on the subject that I've been able to see. And I, you know, big shout out to them for putting this together. Um, of course, they have a much larger budget than I do, so they can afford map box. Mine's hand coded, but whatever, we'll move on. Uh, please check out map.geoengineeringmonitor.org. That is also pretty freaking epic. And they also were behind the Hands Off Mother Earth Manifesto in 2018. And this was a reinvigoration of Hands Off Mother Earth, which stopped the SPICE project, um, which was the stratospheric particle injection for climate engineering, uh, solar radiation management experiment in the UK. And they put a stop to it, the ETC group and company, as you can see here. So they wanted to make a full, you know, full stop to David Key's uh, geoengineering program. Um, I covered this in 2018. Hands off Mother Earth, a pan permanent ban on geoengineering, and uh, this is the original manifesto here. Stop! 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 No! Stop! 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 And you can see that here. Uh, news release 110 civil society organizations and popular movements demand an immediate stop to climate engineering, climate geoengineering. And, you know, that's basically where I got the uh, image from. And did they pull it off? You bet they did. Um, on April 25th, 2021, canceled Bill Gates solar geoengineering experiment, Scopex. Um, Bill Gates, and, and this is from Popular Mechanics, and it's dated April 2021. And as you can see here, uh, they, they say Bill Gates will have to wait a while to block the sun. So, of course, they haven't fully canceled it, but, you know, we're on the way. Uh, they did get, you know, their, their wings clipped, so to speak. And as New York Times put it, test flight for sunlight blocking research is canceled. And this was in the Swedish Space Corporation. Originally, they were going to fly the Scopex balloon in Arizona. Um, that got canceled. Then they moved it to Sweden. Um, the ETC group and company, uh, Geoengineering Monitor, got all these groups together with the Hands Off Mother Earth um, manifesto. And petition the Swedish Space Corporation directly not to geoengineer and they canceled the flight. So winning, 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 winning. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. You know, everybody has, you know, some pretty polar opposite opinions. You know, she, Greta Thunberg may be a very polarizing figure. And despite what your beliefs are on CO2 based climate uh, change, whether, you know, whatever your opinions are politically, I think that we can all agree that saying no to solar geoengineering is a necessity. So hashtag say no to solar geo. I'm down with that. Um, and for that, I'm, I'm going to have to, you know, give a nice little golf clap for Greta. Um, 
I think she's on the right side of history for this. But let me know if you disagree with me in the comments. Let me know if you agree with me. Um, does this change your opinion of Greta Thunberg at all? Um, let me know in the comments. Please share this video. Uh, the original video, unfortunately, you know, just hasn't gotten much attention. So when you go here and you see that the ETC group put this video up on July 6, 2021, you're going to see that basically it's gotten only 988 views, which is like a crying shame. And I'm always going to find these videos that, you know, basically nobody's watching and bring them to your attention. And I made a hashtag say no to Solar Geo uh, playlist that has the two videos. The other one is from Stop Solar Geo Engineering, which you can see Solar here. Engineering would be a very disruptive technology uh, to throw in. And it's a little bit longer world. and you'll be able to check that out. Well, the cause of global warming. And it has a whopping four subscribers, one of which is me, and uh, only 154 views. So please check them out. Um, and, you know, do your part. Sharing is caring. Information is power. And with power comes great responsibility. So I just want to say, I think we're winning. I mean, like, this is, this is a big win for their perception battle against solar geoengineering. I hope that you agree. I hope that you'll share this video, share the message, go to stopsolargeo.org and help be part of the solution. Um, and we'll deal with all the accidental geoengineering another day. But we got to make sure first that the legalization of, and globalization of geoengineering and the governance that's going to come with it, it is never a thing. So please take this information and attack ideas, not people. Love you guys mean it.